to another amazing day at fmtraining.tv. My name is Margaret. I'll be your broadcast engineer for today. Hi, everybody. Good to see you guys. I'm here with the wonderful uh, Nick Hunter and Ken Tooley, actually, as we as we discuss what has been a very hot topic in the Thalamica community since it became, like, since it was brought up, which I would say, oh, a couple months back, maybe the, maybe the beginning of the year. Oh, here we go. What do we thing to load? But Chat GPT and FileMaker, which is a really interesting topic. If you'd like to support the channel, we'd greatly appreciate it. We have our FM training annual subscription bundles. There are 100 plus hours of really high energy video content training. Seriously, if you're new or beginner or intermediate, or you got stuff you just don't know about, like you've used FileMaker for years, but you're not familiar with server, I bring that up all the time because it's a very common one. You got stuff on FileMaker server. We talk about calculations, variables, scripting, relationships, all that jazz. We talk about it, we cover from it. If you're totally new to FileMaker, it's a really good way to get into the platform and get comfortable with the platform so you can make your own stuff. And I think we're good. Nick, what are we doing today? So uh, today we are talking about ChatGPT. So today will be a, like a, a discussion about, okay, so what's going on in the world with this? Because, you know, um, um, I'm involved in this, um, um, in the, in the AI stuff since a long time, because it's a, it's something that interests me. Uh, personally, I have uh, multiple hobbies, but one of my favorite hobbies is the uh, learning history, you know, uh, with a big H and, um, uh, so that's something I love, I love to do. As I always said to my friends, it's normal, you know, being half Greek, half French, if I'm not uh you know passionate by by history there's something wrong with me uh <laughs> you know uh, since i'm um my, my origin are from two major you know <laughs> big history country right so and um of course uh it's uh it's, it's something that is helps you to understand the present and then to uh, anticipate the future right and then you're not so surprised i remember in the in 1985, so I was 14 years old. I told my parents that I want to be in the computer business, and my father, the first thing he told me, he said, "Okay, here we go, a new professional jobless guy." Okay, so uh, because in 1985, who knew about computers and who wanted a computer? It was, you know, we had this um, vision of computers, the big rubber bands, you know, with a lot of light flashing on all, you know, the, like, you know, the computer of the 70s, right? So, and, uh, and they couldn't understand that. But, but in 1987, when I first organized the, the, the wedding of my cousin, using a brain new software called Nashoba FileMaker. File so it was before Claris, right? Uh, people try to understand that, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool, you know, to manage, to have a computer to manage the, 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 the you know, the, the thing going on in the wedding, the, the flowers, the, the food, the, the guests, you know, the, the venue, all of these things. So, so that being said, um, so today uh, I, I want I want to so first I want to do a like a quick poll. So who is using ChatGPT? Who know about that? And uh, who is afraid about this? You know. So let's have a, a discussion like because I'm monitoring. I have the chance of uh, of uh, uh, knowing like those five languages. So I'm I'm monitoring things. What they say in France. What they said in England. What they say in the United States, what they say in Italy, what they say so in many in different countries. So what they say about this, uh, how they feel about this, because you have different countries that feel differently about this. Um, and I want to, uh, I want to put a perspective, uh, if if you if I may, uh, about what it's all about. Okay, so let me share my screen real quick. So we talk about. A GPT stuff, right? So this is how it looks like. This is a version three. There's a version four, but um, it's you need to pay for it. So I'm not using the version four. In the history, it's not the first time that this happened. Okay, that means uh, the the events in the history that put the most of the people out of business. You know, uh, a billions of billions of people throughout the ages out of business is this. 
the guy who invented this, you know, who, the guy who invented this put out of business billions of people. He pretty much saved the, the, the life, you know, of billions of people as well, not, not having to carry weight on their back. Okay. So it all starts with this, you know. So this is the this is the event in history that put the most of the people out of business. Okay. And then we start, you know, domesticated animals, right? That also put a lot of people out of business. You know, imagine uh, being able to travel, uh, to have, uh, you know, cars and stuff like that with, with, with horse, and then uh, use the horse in the, you know, in the, in the field and domesticate the boar to also use in the field and the, and the donkey, right? So also put a lot of people out of business, right? And then I want to count you some some a, a, a cool story, okay? And maybe many of maybe maybe many many of you doesn't know that. This is how you in the past you were harvesting the wheat for the flour. This is how you were doing. You were using a flail that the, this instrument like, and to uh, beat you know beating the, the the wheat, and then you get the the seed out of the you know, and then you were getting the flower, you know, but at the beginning to take, to get the flower, uh, you need to, to use this, you know, it was a manual, uh, you know, the, a grinder was something manual, like pretty much two stone and you were, you know, and you were doing that manually to get your wheat, you know, to get your flower. Okay. So this is how you were getting the, 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 the flower before. And then something happened. Something really, really hard happened, you know, because flour was the base of all the food of that people. You know, this is the, the bread. Bread was the base of food, right? So uh, something happened. This happened. The windmill and the water mill. Then they start to make that automatic. And they, and they put billions of people out of business, you know, uh, the flour to making the flower and people say what the hell is going on no way no way we're going to do that we're not going to allow that to happen right so what they did those people peasants they were uh, uh working on the fields on the in the dirt and they were using this kind of shoe and this kind of shoe in french we call that a sabot okay that is the word to 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 you know to to name this. This is the name of that shoe. It's a sabo. So what they did is okay. We have this shoe, very strong, made of wood. We're going to toss that inside this mechanism, and we are going to break it, right? We are going to go to every single meal, and we're going to break them. Then they won't be able to to make the flower. And then they will need they will need us again. So this is a word sabotage. Sabotage came from here from the French word saboter, which means tossing this shoe inside the gear of the windmill and the and the mostly water mill to uh, to prevent the people to do the flower automatically. So it started with this, okay? So and we and it start, it, it was so big in history that. Throughout the languages in all the world, sabotage is now the name to say when you willingly break something to prevent it to work. Okay, so um, it came from that time. Okay, so to 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 show you how big that event was, you know, the the windmill and the water mill. Okay. So, but what about this guy? He put. Billions of people out of business, the copists, you know. So now we can print books. We don't need a guy or 10 guys, five guys, you know, doing the drawing, writing manually. We don't need those people anymore, which were uh, pretty much the monastery people. You know, uh, there's a famous, infamous uh, movie that, um, you know, I encourage you to watch, which na the name is uh, The Name of the Rose with... Uh, uh, Sean Connery and um, uh, William William uh, I don't remember his name. It was on one of his first. Um, it's a great movie made by a French guy, by the way. 
uh, so and th they were it's a story about this time where they were copying manually the books right so this is what they were doing before so they were pretty much people monks working on monastery monastery and they were copying their you know copying the books so this guy put billions of people out of business throughout the ages and still doing it okay so now what about this guy <laughs> thomas edison okay uh, he put billions of people out of business as well you know as you know with all this invention about the electricity and the bulb you know what about what about the guy who were you know uh, uh lightning lightning and uh, uh shutting off the gas light on the street and stuff like that. So he put a lot of people out of business. What about this guy? Nikola Tesla. He invented the modern electric motor, which we still use today, you know, this magnetic field coil rotating motor, electric motor. So he invented this. Okay. So he put gazillions, billions, zillions of people out of business because he invented that motor. Okay, I'm not talking about the, the, the steam. I'm not talking about those things. And what about this guy, Graham Bell? Okay, he put a lot of people out of business as well. You don't need to carry something and you don't need to go to visit something to talk to him. Invent the telephone, right? And of course, what about this guy? You know, Charles Goodyear he invented making a mistake during a, a day he was, uh, he, he was um, uh, angry. He made a mistake, he tossed something and invented the tire, right? He didn't put billions of people out of business, you know? Of course, yes, because without his invention, no cars. It's not the cars that make the tire, it's the tire that makes the car, believe it or not. It's like the television. Do you know why we have today uh, television with 2 billion channels? Because one day a guy was so lazy, he invented the remote control. If we don't have the remote control, forget about the 2 billion channels. So the remote control made the TV and not the TV made the, the remote control, right? Well, what about this guy? You know, he invented the transistors. Without this guy, there's no computers. There's no chat GPT without that guy. You know, he invented in England the transistor, right? And to finish this story, okay, what about this guy? Okay, he put billions of people out of business, you know, because uh, he came with, first of all, computer. The, let's say it's not, it didn't come with the computer. It came with the computer you can use at home, okay? So a computer that you can use at home, a personal computer that his invention, you know, it's nothing to do with the PC where they were using before, because if we were using PC today, we no, no chat GPT, right? So invented the computer, invented the iPod. What about the disc industry? What about you know the, the CD industry? All of this is gone. And then he did again, right, with the with the with the, the videos where he put all pretty much all those vi video clubs. You remember that? You were going to the to the you know uh, uh, to the corner of the street or the video club, renting a VHS, right tape, and then and watch it, and then come back the later the day later and getting back. So this is definitely gone because of him. Okay. So, but now, so there's one commonality between this, uh, you know. We put out of business physical people. You know, we put, uh, you know, human strength, human muscles, uh, human automation, we, we, human hands, human feet, human, uh, you know, physical. It was physical. We, we remove the burden of repetitive tasks, robotization. So far, it was robotization. It was um repeating task all of this gone you know gone throughout the years right but in the same time so my job came up so what happened is so far so far what we did is we replaced 
physical jobs by intellectual jobs. So that means, okay, no more uh, manuf car manufacturing hand with hands or robots. That means computers, that means engineering, that means robots, that means, you know. So we created jobs with the, with the, the brain, right? So that's what happened. Like, you know, my job, you know, before you had a, somebody with a, you know, a, a, a big, a, a big storage with full of papers and you had somebody like looking for papers, right? And you had somebody counting, you know, counting. Do you know where the computer, the name computer comes? Okay. It comes from in the, in the, in the accounting, in the accounting office, a computer was a guy. Okay, he was a guy, a physical guy. That was his job to compute, to calculate. And then the first computer machine in the world was to calculate stuff to replace the job of the computer. That's why we call that a computer. Right now, you know, we are we need to face this as the human race will have to face many challenges in the future. And I can name some of them. Okay, uh, of course, the AI will change the world, like internet changed the world. I lived in a world without internet, right? Okay, so I live in a world without remote control, by the way. You know, I'm 52, so, you know, I, I know what it is to get up and change manually the channel. I know what it is, and the black and white TV, by the way. So, we five channels. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, we only had three. Yeah, three, yeah, three, four, you know. Yeah, it's, uh, so the world is completely different right now, you know. And internet changed everything, but there's no internet without computer. There's no computer without uh, Tesla. There's no, or Bradin, you know. Okay, so it's an evolution like this, okay. So we have now, we have something new coming. It's the AI, okay. And um, so that, that's the present. The future will be how we, we how we as a human race we are going to deal with uh, mechanic, mechanical intelligence artificial lives. Okay, so that will be how we can, we are going to treat them, right? And uh, see how we have uh, still this problem with slavery today. Uh, imagine in the future what we what what we will have to 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 face, you know? So, uh, so I discussing, you know, I'm, I have a lot of discussion about this with many people, uh, lawyers, and, uh, and, and uh, I have a friend of mine in France, he's a, a video clip producer for singers um, in France. And he told me, actors, oh, good luck. You know, good luck. And I said, I said why? I said, why actors? And I said, because with the AI, Okay, uh, you want a movie? You want the, uh, you want to watch the Titanic, the the, the Titanic uh, actually arriving in New York? Oh, okay, call. You know, ask the AI, make me a a, a, a Titanic uh, story, but I don't want the, the 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 boat to sink, the ship to sink. I want the I want the ship to, you know, to to arrive, and I want to see Jack and I don't remember the girl, uh, you know, getting married and uh, have uh, having a lot of kids, you know. So you want this, okay? The AI you know, will 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 build you a movie for you, right? And you have, and this is today. This is not tomorrow. This is today. You have, it. you have it. We can do it. You know, it's arriving. In 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 the future, you won't have any actors. Why you want an actor? Oh, I want uh, Clark Gable playing in uh, in Star Wars. Okay, yeah, no problem. I want Clark Gable and Lauren Bacall. In, in Star Wars, you know? And I want Ronald Reagan as a Dark Vader. I can do that if I want, you know? And there's no problem, you know? So that, that means actors going out of business. Why you want to pay actors? Why you want to pay all those people uh, doing all that crazy stuff? You don't need that. The music is the same. Why you, wa why you, want, why you want to play to, to, you know, a singer? I can... I can re resuscitate uh, Frank Sinatra and sing uh, a rap if I want. I can do that. That today. I can get Michael Jackson to sing 
uh, you know, whatever, whatever I want. Or, you know, I can resuscitate death. I can invent, I can get my voice, you know, and sing like Michael Jackson. You know, we can, we can do that. And we can invent the theme you want, the style of the music, the instrument you want to, inst you know. So I, I know about the music industry because I, you know, I'm a music player. I'm, you know, I'm an I'm instrument player. So, and I, you know, and, and I saw things completely crazy, you know, completely crazy uh, what, what, what we can do. So the AI is going to, to make a revolution complete in the art industry. Why you want a painter? Why? You know, why you want a singer? Why? Why you want an actor? Why? Okay. So, why you want a lawyer? So let's go back to this. So why you want a lawyer? Because I can, you know, you can ask Chat GPT and say, okay, I want the law about, uh, you know, or I don't know, whatever you want. And the Chat GPT will get you the law immediately. Will get you. Will tell you how to interpret it. Will get you all the jurisprudence. Uh, we can, we give you all the case, uh, this case versus this case, this case versus this case, all, all, bam, is there. Why, why you want a lawyer, you know? Why you want an accounting? Why you want a banker? The, you know, uh, pretty much in the, in a very near future, people, uh, you know, the bank will disappear. You know, the, the physical bank, that will go away. That will go as, as soon as they get rid of the bank, of the bill, you know the paper, the paper money. As soon as we get rid of it, because that's the next step. Uh, when they will get rid of this, that gone. You know, they're it's totally gone. The why you want the banker? You know, the the AI knows about your account better than you do, right? And they anticipate your your you know your your expense and say, okay, hey, be careful. You know, the, uh, that today, that today. Uh, you know, my Chase yeah. app. They, but Chase app tell me, okay, if you if you continue like this, in five days you will broke. You know, that's the, that's the app is doing that today, right? So there's a lot of jobs like this will go away, um, are and uh, uh, and all the lawyer jokes are going to go away too. As you get yeah, rid of the, lawyers, we're going to lose lawyer jokes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, you have new jokes. With Chad GPT. Yeah, stuff. right. Well, <laughs> as you just talked about, we're losing one set of jobs, skills, etc. They're being replaced by a new set of jobs and skills. So okay. the jokes and, will have to change too. Yeah, exactly. But this is where we this is where we land. Okay, we are going to uh, replace and remove the low skill um, intellectual job. You know, the low skill intellectual job. That means. Uh, we will still need a lawyer. I talked to a one and many about this, you know, um, and say, oh, what, how you feel about it? He said, oh, I'm not afraid. And, and I said, why? Why are you not afraid? Oh, because uh, we will need the super expertise. We will need the, for them, the singer. A singer will still exist, but only the extreme talented singers. Actors will still exist, only the extreme talented one. Okay, lawyer will, you know, ex still exist, only the very talented one, the one that will make the difference. The one will be we, the, the one who will, will know how to use the the AI, because you need to know how to use the AI. It's not something that. Uh, you can just ask. No, that's a way to use the AI. You know, and I'm still learning. I'm not an expert at all. You know, because you need you need years. And in the same time, as we learn to use the AI, the AI learn how to be used. Okay, so it's a two way interaction always. So it's always changing. Okay, so yeah, we will have. Uh, job out of business that for sure you know replaced by other jobs you know and but if you want to stay in business right you need to be uh the best in what you do so we we need to uh, the humanity now is going to face something is going to face to be 
uh, even the even better than better. Otherwise, go away. You know, it's a, it's a challenge. Uh, I, I I perfectly understand. You know, I perfectly understand that uh, it can scare people. You know, or like you know, like I remember a friend of mine. He was a, a, a photographer, but not a photographer taking photos. Okay, he was a photographer making the photo, right? Not taking the photo. So before to make a photo, it was all process, what well, all the process. So that remind me a big story, you know, or, and uh, I, I think everybody knows about this, uh, you know, this company, Kodak company. They were the world leader by far in term of photography. I don't know uh, anybody that is uh, more than 30 years old that never used a Kodak product. Okay, so it was something, you know, or they were leading the world, leading the world from, the, from taking the photo with the cameras to printing the paper, right? They were leading all the chain. All the food chain, they were from the top to the bottom, okay? And they disappeared in five years. Disappeared from the surface of the planet completely. Or completely disappeared. Why? Because they wanted to fight against the wind. Only the fool fight against the, world, the, will, the wind. You can't fight against the wind. You know, uh, it's, it's, a, it's impossible, Right? That means the AI is there. Okay, so now that it's there, deal with it. Otherwise, be Kodak. Okay, just go away, you know, go fed away, you know. So now, talking about FileMaker, right? So, how, how okay, in, and let's say the coding business, okay? How ChatGPT can help you? Uh, I am. Since some time now, I am no longer using this. I'm no longer using this, the FileMaker help. Why? Right? Why? Because why do why you want this? This is 1985 technology, and why you want to fight the new technology, right? Like this. I was asking something like this. It's very simple. Um, you know, uh, what is the text limits uh, in FileMaker fields? That's it. So you have the answer. Right. That's faster than that table of right. contents page loaded. Right. So, uh, or you can go there and try to do the same. Right. So, this is the, the first thing you can do. Uh, you know, uh, you can do something. Tell me how to use get date uh, function in FileMaker. I realized something that if you say this, it lacks it. You know? Boom. So why you want, you know, so pretty much you don't even need Nick Hunter anymore, right? So you have this. You can copy well, the not code. for this we don't need you. Yeah, okay, yeah. We need you uh, for other yeah. things. Yeah, you, I will see that he's still doing the same mistake. Even if I told him how to fix the mistake, he's still doing it. Okay. Because so, it hasn't added it to the database. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so you see... Uh, it explained to you how it works, right? Uh, and how you can expand it with month, with year, with day, you know? So this is a way, you know, to to use um, uh, ChatGPT with FileMaker, right? TopCat has a point. In order to ChatGPT to know about FileMaker is because the help of FileMaker is open in the air, right? 
So ChatGPT is doing this, is taking all, for example, for FileMaker, is taking all the help. Pretty much is taking everything about FileMaker that that could exist. Uh, you know, uh, the help, uh, every topics, every every website talking about this, every, you know, or question answer like uh, FileMaker today or whatever, you know, all those websites uh, that exist about talking about FileMaker and feed with with it, you know, and sometimes feed with the with the stupidity of this as well, you know. That's why learning stupid things and sometimes you tell it, it tell you some stuff completely false, okay? Because it trusted, it. like like a human, we trust things, you know. Sometimes we trust things, you know. We 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 were certain the Earth was flat, and we still have people, to, you know, thinking about this. But you know, so uh, and the, in, every single intelligence can be fooled, right? okay? It's not it's 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 an intelligence. So and uh, and you have floats, you know, when you have when you have intelligence because it can think and can decide. So when you have a decision making, you already have the possibility of a mistake. If you don't have a, uh, if you don't give somebody the the, the 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 ability to decide, there's no mistake possible because there's no decision taken. So um, one thing, uh, so what about two? One thing to, to do find annoying is how verbose all answer are. It's obvious which blog are written by AI and which human, right? So that's what I tell you. It's verbose, but sometimes could be, you know? So can then say, okay, too long, uh, you know, summarized, right? And you can even make a mistake like I did. Or say, or say, uh, don't, so you you can ask your stuff, right? And uh, and you can and you can even ask in different languages, you know. So he knows to speak. I don't know how many languages. Uh, so another question we have a question: Do you integrate ChatGPT in Firebase? Yeah. So that the, that the purpose of all this um, web, all the webinar we're going today. Today was just discussion about uh, if you had a curiosity. About about this, if you you know if you you know, uh, I gave you my perspective on this, you know about the understanding I had. So uh, yes, it will be a game changing in the entire entire world. The world won't be the same anymore. Okay, journalist is gone, the job of journalist that gone, uh, but not all journalists. The jo the what I call the the, the couch journalism is is out. I mean, the, we what the couch journalism is the journalist in the couch uh, uh, re retweeting okay x uh, re xering because now there's a Twitter is no longer exist. So uh, you know, all of those people are gone. The the journalist uh, going where the bomb is falling. Yeah. This guy is still in business. The AI won't go in Ukraine or whatever, you know, under the bomb and report, right? That won't happen. That uh, that kind of red journalist will still happen, right? But you you know what I mean. So the, the journalist is a good example because you have a, a bunch of people, useless people that whoosh, those people out of business replaced by AI because we don't need to do what they do, right? And um Especially that the, those people use AI to write their articles, so it's better to get rid of them and just write write the, with the AI directly. Uh, but you know, and in FileMaker, so you can use FileMaker as a teaching tool, right? As a teaching tool, um, for example, um, how to create a table in you know something you know in FileMaker. So follow this, and you can create a table, right? Uh, what is a relationship? So now he knows that I'm talking about FileMaker. I don't need to know. I don't need to tell FileMaker, you know, what is a relationship? Uh, 
right? So you explain what it is, right? So it's a, so it's a good teaching tool. You know, a learning learning tool, a very good learning tool. Can you show me? He gave you an example. Customer table, order table. Right? So this is something cool, you know. Uh, uh, how to debug a, a script uh, performed on server. I'm just making up, you know, how this is the Yeah. Yeah. There's number one, which you did last week. Yeah, it's a good it's a good uh you know. Yeah, number one is what we we talked about last week. That you we yeah. actually did that last week. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know. Like debug locally, you know. Yeah. Enable, you know, review server event log, yeah. This I don't know about this. I need to log log data table. So pretty much you can ask whatever you want. As my last update in September, I have information named Nick Hunter being. You get that out of uh, Oregon Dean? You get that out of FileMaker? Uh, that of ChatGPT? Yeah, I got something similar earlier. It it doesn't know you. You didn't exist up until September 2021. Yeah, that makes sense. That the time we we pretty much start the, you know. Yeah, the stream stuff, yep. I'm surprised because normally they don't talk about people, but... Uh, they they must consider me like a peop, a, peop, a, peop, uh, a public figure, so they can talk about this because normally they don't talk about names. You know they have a strong privacy. They don't give address. They don't give a, you know, and and unless it's something like, like public, right? So um, yeah, that's interesting. So uh, do we have still condensed? Going to be a new thing. Here? Instead of googling yourself, you'll be chatting yourself. Yeah, or but you know, chatting yourself. So now we have. We have the, the war of the AI. So everybody will come with the AI. The worst AI ever so far is the Apple one because they have none. Um, and uh, I don't know what they're doing, but uh, they got fooled, totally fooled uh, at, at Apple. And that Steve Jobs mistake. Um, they bought uh, this Siri stuff you know yeah. and uh that was <laughs> i know that because the guy who invented that crap was a french guy so you know he's known in france by having fooled steve jobs with something completely like wow <laughs> you know so but it was the only one available in that time uh like a, it was like a personal assistant it was the you know, the good, it was a big, do you remember that? How the name on Microsoft, you had this this guy on the bottom of the screen uh, on Windows named Bob or something like this? Oh, there was this. the clip. There was the, they had the paper yeah. clip. Uh, what is the name of their uh, Microsoft uh, Windows uh, virtual assistant in the late... 90s yeah bob yeah see <laughs> i remember i that remember bob. bob i remember the bob clip. you know bob was this uh, it was a, a little guy that was listening to you right um and uh, f uh apple was doing something similar name or uh what is apple casper um uh, doesn't know all right uh you don't know about this uh virtual uh what's the name uh as uh, um a, a virtual assistant made by apple no he doesn't know no he doesn't know Cap apple casper but you know right apple casper I, I, I never know. heard of that. As my last update in, tw in September 2021, I don't have any information about Apple Virtual Assistant specifically named Apple Casper. You know, that that's that, I'm surprised about this. Who knows about Casper? 
it was the ancestor of the I'm surprised that nobody but that was in the 90s yeah Casper that, that Bob that that guy I Don't always knew him as Clippy yeah so Casper knew him yeah. as Clippy okay. too so it was the uh it was a, a project you know they they were you know apple in the in the late in the late 90s and early 90s they they, they loved to do like a, a really nice videos about the future right uh, yeah i that, remember some of those know, those were great yeah yeah they were great fiction <laughs> but then never come to fruition yeah, yeah. never and it's still not still it's not there you know we still don't you know but some did. I, me I remember one that basically ended up being iPads and AirDrop. Um, and, you know, the, I, the video was, you're right, from like 1990, 95, maybe. Yeah. But the, the, the next big job that's going to go away, because I know that because I have a friend of mine in Colombia uh, when I was there that has a, a, one of the biggest uh, um, call center in Latin America. Okay, so... Um, and uh, he said, "Oh, you know, I I'm selling the the the, the you know the, the building, and why? Oh, because because you know, uh, I, I, my my office will be like a two story building in a regular a two story office in a regular building. Uh, because everything will be virtual, virtual mm, everything. Yeah. So uh, and I I I use one day one of those uh." virtual kind of a call center stuff it's incredible it's impossible to see the difference right it's impossible you you it sounds like a human it's and he knows everything about you he knows everything about what you need he knows everything about what you want you know because he can access everything you know so like it's you know it's so now today what we have is the uh, we have roadblocks, you know, roadblocks. For example, uh, if you want to ask your 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 letter is not arrived on time, for example, right? You call FedEx, and you know why, and uh, it cannot. It, it, so many of the system are not connected. So that that that's the problem. The 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 difference between connection, right? The disconnection of things. So more and more and more we have connection. It's like a brain, by the way, you know, more we will get everything connected and everything compatible. Okay. So that's what we need to do. So we need to work on the compatibility, but then you have the competition coming along because the one that will have the more connection will get the, the AI more, the most efficient. So that will win the competition, right? And the, the 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 fear of the of many of those people in the AI industry is to get at the end to have only one AI. That will be the problem, you know. If we have only one, okay, we we should we should have many, right? And that shouldn't be governments uh, controlled, right? Neither should be uh, one. It should be like a human control. I, I don't know, like a uh, you know, open, open source kind of stuff. You know, it should be like something completely uh, free. You know, and see how it goes. You know, so well, we 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 heard about many stories about the schizophrenic, uh, uh, you know, uh, mindset of uh, AI and stuff like this. You know, how <laughs> no, how and some and some people said at the end. We, should, we might get uh, completely psychopath people, you know, uh, psychopath. In the world, we have so many people working on this. Of course, we have the U.S. military, okay? Um, of, of course, we have the, the scientific community uh, because, uh, you know, what I was talking, I was thinking about the future job out of business. Your dentist in 10 years won't be a dentist anymore. I mean... If you want to go to your human dentist, go, but I won't go. I prefer to go to a robotized dentist, right? Because, uh, you know, he, he knows inside, he knows, he can see inside your, your uh, you know, your mouth that, the, you know, the, the human need to, 
rely on what he sees, you know? So, uh, so you have a, a, even the surgeon, surgeon today, that's a present, you know? A surgery made by a robot is like uh, the precision is impossible to have that precision in the human, uh, in the human hands. But we still need human to supervise and to to make all the pro the programmation. So you need an engineer that write the code, and then you need a human, right, to tell the engineer what to do, right, and how to anticipate things and stuff like this. So. The surgeon is not out of business. It's out of business to practice the surgery. The but knife not, makers. Yeah, that means it's, you know it's like yeah, and the, and like, the nurses uh, that hand them the knife. Yeah. So you you understand what I mean? So is yeah. Instead of being uh, an executant, it would be like a thinker. Even more, we need to think more than the the artificial intelligence. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to show you the feed that we, we you know we, we got together. Um Ken, you know the, the feed the, the Yes, yes, right. The the chat GPT that we, we met together. It was still getting the same mistake and impossible to fix the mistake. Today is giving is gave me it gave me a new answer. I didn't try the new answer. So tomorrow we're going to play with this, right? And sure. uh and, and, and Wednesday we're going to implement uh, chat GPT inside FileMaker, you know, and the next week I'm going to have a guest, a, a person that used chat GPT in his work uh, tomorrow. And, uh, and uh, after tomorrow, I'm going to show you how I'm using it on the coding aspect of it, right? How to code, how to, how to, you know, use uh, the, the, the UI to fix code, to create codes. So we're going to see that. Right, and uh, next week we're going to to use ChatGPT within FileMaker for the for the data for the, the you know act, the actual data, not just for the coding. Okay, okay, guys. So um, that was good. I think we're good. Thank you very much, Nick. Sounds no. good. Take care, of your cold. Great. Nick. Thank <laughs> you very much. We'll, uh, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye. Filemaker license. Uh, well, it's potentially expired. Look at the back of that car right there. Looks like the Filemaker license has expired. Sir, I need you to step out of the vehicle. Sir, sir, step out of the vehicle. Sir. Oh,